Hi guys, today we're going to look at how we can rotate an object so that it faces the direction it's moving in. As always, if you prefer written instructions, you can find a link to the text version in the description. If you find this tutorial useful, please don't forget to click like and subscribe. Right, let's get started by creating a new 3D project in Unity Hub. We're going to do some initial setup on our scene, so you can follow along or you can skip to the next chapter for the main content of the tutorial. We'll add a plane to represent our floor by clicking the plus button on the hierarchy and selecting 3D object, plane. We'll set the scale of the plane to 10 on the X axis and 10 on the Z axis. Next, we'll create a material to change the colour of the floor. To do this, we'll click the plus button on the project panel and select material. We'll name this material floor. We'll click on this box next to Albedo and choose a green colour. We can now drag the material onto the plane to assign it. We now need a character to move around our scene. For this, we'll head over to the Asset Store by clicking Window Asset Store. We'll then search for RPG Monster Duo. We'll download and import this asset. Now we've got all the assets we need, we'll return to the scene view. Next, we'll add our character into the scene. In the project panel, we'll navigate to Assets, RPG Monster Duo Poly Art, Prefabs, and then we'll drag the Slime PBR Prefab into the scene. We'll reset the transform to centre the character in our scene. We'll also turn off the animator component, as we won't be looking at animations in this video. To improve the lighting in our scene, we'll select Window, Rendering, Lighting Settings. Then we'll tick the Auto Generate checkbox. Now we have everything set up in our scene, the next thing we need to do is create a script to make our character move and rotate. To do this, we'll click on Add Component and search for the script component. We'll call this script Play a Movement. We'll then double click the script to open it in Visual Studio. The first thing we want to do is move the character based on user input, which we'll do in the same way as we did on our movement video. In our update method, we'll get the player input on the horizontal axis and assign it to a variable. Next, we'll do the same for the vertical axis. We'll now use these input values to make the character move. To do this, we'll create a three-dimensional vector for the direction we want the character to move. We'll set the direction on the x-axis to our horizontal input. We'll set the direction on the y-axis to zero as we don't want the character to move up and down. And we'll set the direction on the z-axis to our vertical input. We'll normalise the direction vector to ensure it has a magnitude of one. Next, we'll change the position of the character based on the movement direction. To do this, we'll access the object's transform and use the translate method to move it in the direction we want. We want to be able to control how fast the character moves, so we'll create a public variable for the speed. We'll then multiply the direction by this speed. We'll also multiply by time.delta time to ensure it moves at the same speed regardless of our frame rate. We also need to specify that we are moving the character relative to the world. Let's save the script and switch back to Unity. We'll set the speed to 5 in the inspector and press play to try it out. We can now press the arrow keys to move the character around the scene. The character moves, but it doesn't turn to face the direction it's moving yet. Let's stop the game and switch back to the script to fix this. First of all, we'll check if the character is moving by checking that the movement direction is not zero. If it is moving, we want the character to rotate to face the direction it's moving. To do this, we'll set the forward direction of the transform to the movement direction. 
Let's save the script and switch back to Unity. We'll press play to try this out. The character now turns immediately to face the direction of movement. While this is much better, the instant rotation feels a bit unnatural. We can make the rotation look much smoother by having the character rotate to the desired direction over a period of time. Let's stop the game and switch back to the script to do this. First of all, we'll delete the line where we set the forward direction. We want to make the character rotate towards the movement direction at a specific rate, so we'll add a public variable for the rotation speed. Next, we need to get the desired destination rotation. We'll store this in a quaternion variable, which is a type specifically for storing rotations. We'll then use the quaternion look rotation method to create a rotation looking in the desired direction. We'll set the forward direction to the movement direction. And we'll set the up direction to the y axis using the vector 3 up property. Now we'll change the rotation of our character. We'll use the quaternion rotate towards method to rotate from our current rotation towards the desired direction. We'll use our rotation speed variable to control how quickly the character rotates, remembering to multiply by time dot delta time. Let's save the script and switch back to Unity. We'll set the rotation speed to 720 so that the character changes direction quickly. Let's press play to try this out. Now when we move, the rotation is much smoother and looks a lot more natural. Ok, that covers everything for this tutorial, hope you found it useful. Please leave any questions or feedback in the comments and don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss the next one. Thanks guys!